What is going on, guys? Tom here from the Geek Culture Podcast at geekculturepodcast.com. Today we are talking about the Star Wars 2nd Edition R2-D2 headphones by SMS Audio. If you guys haven't, check out our first review on the Boba Fett Series 1 headphones. Got that little link there. Uh, so let's jump right into this, guys. Uh, the first thing I will say is that I am a big shelf nerd. I have toys and collectibles and stuff that I like to look at. And this box that these headphones come in is such a piece of art. It's awesome. It stands alone. And besides the headphones just being incredible, this box art is super dope. Uh, so let's just jump right into it. Um, we're going to take off the, the plastic wrap covering. And uh, you guys are going to see me struggle a little bit with trying to open this box. And to save you time in that struggle, because the struggle is real, you guys will see me cut as I learn how to open this box. I do remember the first time that I did this uh, with the Boba Fett first editions. I also had trouble, but this box is uh, is super durable, durable and uh, sturdy, and I did have a hard time opening it, and I didn't want to rip it. So, let's do this. We push it from the bottom and uh, we open this up. Now this box is pretty cool too. It opens up like uh, like a door. Uh, so there's magnetic strips inside so it keeps it all tight. And here we go. You guys are going to see that this packaging is absolutely littered with pictures. Uh, this one has R2-D2, Chewbacca, TIE Fighter, and Darth Vader, which are the four different uh, additions that you can get from uh, the second wave of um, SMS audio headphones. So here we are. This is the pod or the carrying case that the headphones come in. Has the embossed Star Wars logo. And uh, there we go. A cleaning cloth for headphones that also has the logo. Uh, but let's jump right into the, the paperwork that comes with this. So here we go. Is just the uh, There's an international distributors list and an owner's manual, which are pretty boring. But these are the cool things that come with this uh, the second edition headphone. So there's the distribution list. But the last time that I opened up my uh, my first edition Boba Fett's they had a poster in there and uh, I didn't want to crinkle the poster because I'm a total purist when it comes to this stuff and uh, this is kind of cool that they in they included this like 3D R2-D2 card with this set uh, there is a R2-D2 sticker which I will not be putting on anything but it is kind of cool and this is the certificate of authenticity um, much like the one from the first one it does show the R2-D2, Chewbacca, TIE Fighter and Darth Vader headphones that you can also get so uh, yeah pretty cool uh, the 3D uh, card is pretty cool too it looks like they only license like one picture of this R2-D2 everything's the same from the box to the card to you know it's I'm kind of kind of the same deal but still still pretty cool and uh, it's it's clean everything's really awesome and Good if you're a super Star Wars nerd collector. So let's just jump right into this pod, uh, this carrying case, which the headphones are enclosed inside. Uh, it's pretty small, which is pretty cool because the headphones do fold, um, and it's got the uh, the rubber SMS tab, and the colors are nice too. I mean, gray and blue is just uh, classic and poised, so uh, I'm all about it. I was a sh I, this was a shock to me. I did not know that the headphones were white, so uh, they are super baller. Uh, they look a little feminine with the uh, the silver like chrome painting, but uh, I really do dig them. So uh, as they, you know, they unsnap. There's all metal hinged on them. They expand a little bit if you do have a gigundo head, and uh, they do fit comfortably with all the padding. So uh, you guys are going to see me turn this around and show you pretty much all the details uh, that these phones do have all the padding and uh, all the Star Wars logo and brands all over the place. Give you a little bit of a better look at the R2-D2 uh, side art which is kinda cool because it's all raised um, and then there's some also design on the top where the SMS audio logo is more R2-D2 uh, <laughs> logo stuff on the top. So you guys can see these are one ear plug headphones uh, super padded though on the top and they fold right nice fit right back in there perfectly. Uh, I'm going to take a little bit more time to talk about this cable, though. Uh, the first thing you guys will notice uh, when I pull this cable out is uh, it's very, very long, and it's super, uh, it's super durable. The the rubber coating on it is really nice, but this is the one thing that I really love about these SMS audios is they have a mic piece right here. So it's also got the Star Wars logo on it, but uh, you guys will see as I do hold my controller next to it um, after this. Um, the, t the two uh, eighth inch adapters, there's a 190 and there's a one straight, um, both have three ring on them, so you're going to be able to use them with a microphone on your phone and or 
uh, controller, which I totally use these for, uh, for gaming. And uh, the audio is super good. There's uh, really nice mids, nice highs, and decent bass. Uh, lows are pretty... Low, lows are a little hard with, with uh, phones these size, but they do work really nice. Alright, so here you guys are going to see me uh, show you uh, a bit of what you can use these headphones for, which uh, you guys will see. The first thing I do is I pull out my PlayStation 4 controller and uh, I use the 90 degree end, the 90 degree eighth inch, to just plug right into the controller. I'm not really familiar enough with uh, how Xbox one controllers are but I'm sure that they have a uh, external port so these are perfect for gaming guys especially with included audio uh, on, uh, on newer games where you can adjust vocals chat and uh, music if you're listening to stuff which reminds me you can also plug in your phone and listen to the geek culture podcast on iTunes and Stitcher so don't forget that guys we are a YouTube channel but primarily we are a podcast um, so make sure you guys check us out there so here we go, a final wrap-up for the SMS Audio Star Wars 2nd Edition R2-D2 headphones um, on the on-ear wired headphones. Guys, these have a price point of 180 bucks. The $179.95, you guys can look up a little bit more information uh, on smsaudio.com. But definitely a solid investment if you're a super nerd and you really like Star Wars, but you're also into solid quality for sound. Um, make sure you guys check out. They still have the first editions available, which are very, very cool. But um, I really enjoy these second editions. These R2-D2 headphones are super cool. I mean, I even might go out and swing and, and get these Chewbacca's because, you know, um, brown headphones. What, how can you say no to brown headphones? But, guys, uh, thank you for checking out um, the Geek Culture Podcast review on the Star Wars second edition R2-D2 headphones. Make sure you guys go to geekculturepodcast.com to check out a similarly written review on the same product. We also have podcasts, like I said, on iTunes and Stitcher. And uh, you guys can find us on Instagram. We're on Twitter. Uh, we are also on Facebook. So guys, uh, go check out our respective social media outlets and uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Tons of other reviews out there from toys to video games, uh, streaming, and um, yeah, thank you guys so much again. We'll talk soon. Welcome to the cult.